Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Bellroy Venture 22 liter backpack. I recently featured this in the video where I shared some tips and gear that I use to travel with a smaller day pack. This is the day pack that I featured in that video. However, I wanted to take some time to actually dive a little bit deeper into the bag itself and you know show you what it's been like to use this over the past couple of weeks, walk through all the features, I'll show you how I've loaded it out, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, I want to thank Huckberry for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. As the Venture name would suggest, this has a little bit more of a rugged and outdoorsy feeling than some of the other bags that I've used from Belroy in the past. So it's got this sort of top loading compartment, some adjustability, buckles, some zippers. It's not overwhelmingly technical by any means. It still stays true to Belroy's sort of minimalist design philosophy, but it just kind of has a little bit more of that feeling in my opinion. It's still a very versatile look that's gonna work well in a variety of environments, whether you are going into the outdoors or using this to walk around the city, take into the office, or travel. As far as the materials, the bag feels very solidly built. On the exterior, you have a 100% recycled nylon that feels like it's gonna hold up well to rougher usage and provide a decent amount of weather resistance while keeping the bag from getting too heavy. And then you also have some very nice YKK zippers all throughout. Continuing along the front, you have an attachment point here on the bottom, which is gonna be a good spot for something like a bike light. And then you have the subdued Bellroy logo on the flap. At the top, you also have a very rugged handle, which has kind of nylon material here, which is pretty soft. It's not super thick or padded, but it's been comfortable to use even when the bag is more packed out. I also like how much this comes out to make it easy to grab the bag whenever you need to. Moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 22 liters, which is a really great daily bag size in my opinion. It's able to hold all the items that I normally like to carry with me and I still had some leftover space. The volume on this is also adjustable as we'll see a little bit later in the video due to its top flap mechanism. Um, but just a really great size and I like that even when it's a little bit more packed out, it manages to maintain a really slim silhouette, which made it great for navigating crowded areas, jumping onto public transit and carrying on to pretty much any domestic or international airline. Taking a look at the straps on the back paneling, so far the bag has been really comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. They have plenty of padding and they're really soft and comfortable right out of the box. On the inside, there's no sort of mesh fabric to add breathability. They still felt pretty comfortable. I haven't noticed a ton of moisture building up, but I normally like to have that extra breathability when possible. And then these straps also have a nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when it's a little bit more packed out. On the straps, you also have an adjustable sternum strap to help distribute the weight, which has a magnetic buckle to make it easy to get this on and off. Moving into the back paneling, this has also been really comfortable. I like the padding that's been used here a lot. It feels really soft, almost gel-like, and it's well distributed all throughout the back. You also have some nice lumbar support at the bottom, and you have an air channel here in the middle to provide you with a little bit of ventilation and breathability. However, I would have liked to have seen maybe a few more of these or something deeper to provide you with more airflow while you're walking around throughout the day. Jumping into the organizational options, the bag has a nice variety of pockets all throughout. Starting at the top flap, you have a quick access pocket that has a very well protected zipper, also with a zipper garage here, so anything that you place in here is gonna be protected from the elements, and this is a great area to be able to access those smaller items a little bit more quickly. You have plenty of space here. You will have to kind of be careful with any bulkier items that you place in here as it could make it a little bit harder to secure the buckle, especially depending on what level you wanna secure it at. But for the items that I would normally use in this type of compartment, it worked well. So I currently have some sunglasses in here, and then I have a lightning cable to charge my phone, and I have my Apple AirPods. And then on the inside of this pocket, it's really nice that you have a soft lining that's gonna help prevent against scratching for anything more delicate that you wanna store here. And then on the sides, instead of going with kind of traditional water bottle pockets, you have two hidden zippered compartments on the sides that can work for water bottles or other accessories. So I like the additional kind of flexibility that's provided from having these be zippered pockets. So starting off with this one here on the right, uh, this is an area where I just have some of the items that I grab a little bit more regularly during the day. So it works almost as another quick access pocket, but you can see how much volume is offered here. So I could have fit a smaller water bottle or an umbrella or something else in this area if I wanted to. Currently what I have is an external battery 
to charge my phone when it's low on battery. And then I have the Tom Ben ghost oil pouch that just has some small accessories that I like to have with me. And then in this compartment, you also have a lanyard with a plastic clip that's gonna be a good spot to attach your keys or a multi-tool. And then on the other side, this pocket I'm actually using as a water bottle pocket. So I was able to fit this water bottle from Purist pretty comfortably. I've been testing this out. I really love the form factor and size of this water bottle. It's got a nice carrying handle at the top and just, you know, very easy to drink from and clean because it's got the wide mouth. So really nice, solid water bottle. It's worked well. And, you know, I was happy to see that a water bottle would fit into these side compartments. One thing to note, with this style of compartment is that it can take up space from the main area. So if you place a larger water bottle in here, it's gonna poke in and it'll make it a little bit harder to use some of the internal organization that we'll take a look at in a bit. Regardless, really love the versatility of having these actually be zippered as opposed to kind of standard external water bottle slip pockets. Moving into the main compartment, there's a few things I wanna call out as far as how you actually access this area. I really like that Bellroy has provided a lot of flexibility with being able to get into the pockets of the bag while you're still wearing it. So you can swing the bag around. This is something that I noticed with the side compartments. Without having to take it off, you can swing it around, grab something that you need from this compartment. But also from the main area, because you have zippers coming down each side, you can actually open this up and reach in and grab something from the main area without unhooking this top latch. And because you have a zipper on each side, it doesn't matter if you swing the bag around from your right or your left, you still have the ability to access the main area. So really like the flexibility that's provided there. And then you also have the actual flexibility from the flap and buckle system that they've included. This has definitely taken a little bit of getting used to because you have to pull pretty firmly to get this buckle out of the loops. It's a very durable kind of metallic buckle that you have here. And then it securely goes into place so you can slide it in and it actually hooks in there, but pulling it out can feel just a little bit scary. It's something that I'll keep an eye out as I use the bag over a longer period of time to make sure that there's no wear. These are very rugged feeling sort of loops that you have here. And then of course you have four different layers. So if the bag is emptier, you can take it all the way down to the bottom for the items that I have here at the moment, you can see that I could really kind of compress it down if I wanted to. And then if I was traveling for a little bit longer or you know, I just had some extra stuff to carry with me, I could bring it all the way up to the top. If you have it at this topmost level, always important to keep an eye on these side flaps to prevent any water from getting into the bag. Bellroy has done a great job here of making the flaps really internal so you know, there's less of a risk than I've seen with other bags. This comes over effectively even when it's at this top level, but it's something that you'll just wanna keep in mind if it's gonna be a rainier day. So really interesting system overall. It works well once you've gotten used to it and it's a little bit simpler than having to deal with buckles and straps, which I like. And then once you're ready to get into the bag, you can use it as a top loader and just grab stuff from the top. If you have a jacket or something that you use more regularly, but then if you wanna be able to access or just more easily pack out the bag in the, in the full volume, you can open it up clamshell style and have full visibility into this main compartment. And I like the kind of bucket style layout that these bags have as it just keeps things simple and works well for my modular style of packing. So as I mentioned, 22 liters, and even with the items that I have, there's some leftover space if I wanted to pack in a little bit more, but diving into the items that are just kind of laying here in the main area at the top, I have my DJI Mavic Mini with its hard shell case. Then I also have a packable rain jacket, which I always like to have with me. And then I have the Bellroy Tech Kit. And this is the collaboration that they did with Carryology. This is another item that I've been testing out recently as an alternative to the Evergood Civic Access Pouch. I used this a while back, um, but I was very intrigued with the updated collaboration version, which is available on Huckberry's site because it has the aqua guarded zippers here. And I like the fabrics that are used. And then also on the inside, it has this bright orange lining. And in general, I just like the simplicity of this pouch and the protection that the harder kind of case adds to the items that I might be storing on the inside. So it's a little less overwhelming than some of the other pouches that I've used. I've enjoyed testing this out so far. You have a few slip pockets here on the back where I have my laptop kind of charger and cables. And then you have a few elastic bands here which are gonna be good for something like a stylus. And then I have a wired set of headphones. My Apple Magic Mouse fits in here in one of these larger bands comfortably. And then on the back you have this sort of rigid wall here which is gonna keep 
some of those items a little bit more protected, such as a hard drive. So I have the cable and my Samsung portable hard drive here. And this also has magnetic buckle to kind of hold it in place. And you have a few additional slots on the inside here uh, for something like a credit card or maybe a SIM card. I haven't really used these too much, uh, but just a really nice, simple layout, durable organizer. It's been great so far. And then I also have a full-size moleskin notebook and my Levitate portable standing desk. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. This layout is gonna work great for minimal travel. If you saw the video that I did on traveling with a day pack, you could see how I loaded this out with a few packing cubes and you know the flexibility that the top flap provides. So really great for tossing in those packing cubes, a dop kit, and then using this for a weekend trip. And then on the inside, you have some organization on the sides, a few elastic slip pockets, which you know have some nice flexibility and are gonna be good for something a little bit bigger. This is the compartment that's gonna have the most trouble if you put a water bottle or something larger in those zippered compartments that we saw on the side, they share volume with this area. So you kind of have to pick and choose how you wanna organize the bag. But for you know just storing items, they work great. I like the flexibility. Uh, and on the right here, I actually ended up using this one just to hold my GoPro. On the back of the compartment, you have a taller slip pocket, which is gonna be a good spot for maybe a tablet, a folder, some documents. It's not super padded, it's pretty thin, but it is nice to just kind of have an area to keep those items organized. And then next to that, you have a small slot, which is another area where you could store a stylus or a pen comfortably. And then you also have a very well padded and suspended laptop sleeve. Bellroy's laptop sleeves are some of the best on the market and this one, you know, kind of continues that tradition. It's a little bit more padded sleeve here. It's pulled up. You can, you know, just toss your laptop in there and not be worried about it making contact with the ground. And it's going to be able to hold up to a 16 inch laptop. Currently what I have in here is my 13 inch MacBook Pro. You can see there's plenty of leftover space here at the top. So I'll go ahead and pull that out. Now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. No sort of fleece lining to help prevent against scratching, which Bellroy has had in some of their other laptop sleeves, so I would have liked to have seen that here. Uh, but it does come up a decent amount, so if you happen to have a thicker device or you want to use a case with your laptop, it should be able to fit in there comfortably. And with the padding that's provided here and the fact that it's suspended, it feels like my device is going to be very well protected throughout the day. And then on the flap for this main area, you have two additional mesh zippered pockets. Starting off at the top, you have one with this orientation that's gonna be great to reach in when you're using this as a top loader. Plenty of space here, and I really like the mesh that they've used. It's really elastic, durable feeling, and it's gonna give you a lot of flexibility with what you can store. Currently, what I have in here is the Peak Design mobile tripod that I've been carrying around with me to get some footage and selfies. And then I also have a compact flashlight, which is always part of my EDC. Uh, but plenty of space here, even if I had had other accessories that I'd want to toss in. And then below that, you have another zippered compartment. This one has a vertical orientation on the zipper, so it's gonna be a good pocket to reach into from the side. And you know, plenty of volume here, same mesh material. Currently what I have in here is a deck of playing cards. And then I also have some band-aids and ointment in an aluminum tin. So really love the layout and space offered in this main area and just the design all throughout the bag. Everything works really well. It's super well built. I like the aesthetic. And if you're interested in a flexible and versatile bag that's gonna work well in pretty much any environment, then this is gonna be a great option to consider. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the Bellroy Venture backpack over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase this on Huckberry or the company site for about $240, which is definitely premium pricing for a backpack. You are getting a very well-built, stylish, and feature-filled bag. However, there's going to be some other great bags in this price range that may be worth considering. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of is the Bellroy Transit Work Pack, which is one of my favorite work and EDC backpacks and possibly my favorite bag from Bellroy. It has a similar sort of stylish aesthetic to this, very well built, it's comfortable to wear. It has a pretty similar organizational layout as far as kind of the two side zippered compartments, quick access pocket. That one is not a top loading bag, it's more of a traditional clamshell style backpack. And it also has a separate laptop compartment, so the laptop is not in the main area with everything else, which I really love. And it's a very well padded, suspended laptop. It's one of the best laptop compartments that's on the market. So if you like Bellroy's style and durability and you want something that's not necessarily a top loader like this one, that's gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. 
The next bag this made me think of is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack, which is one of the most popular kind of tech and camera bags that's currently on the market. It has a similar top loading kind of flap that's adjustable. It's got that magnetic buckle that Peak Design is very well known for. It doesn't open up fully flat like this bag does, but it does have access to all areas of the bag with the full zippers that it has so you can reach in and grab your camera gear. It has adjustable dividers that you can fully remove if you just want to use it as a regular backpack a well padded laptop compartment that's separate from the main area. I do think that the harness system on this bag is gonna be more comfortable and for my particular usage as I don't carry a ton of camera gear, I actually like the layout of this bag a little bit more, just the simplicity, the fact that it opens up fully clamshell. I also don't like that the Peak Design backpack is so rigid, it actually maintains its shape really strongly, which is great for camera gear, but I like that this bag sort of collapses a little bit into itself when you know it's not in use as I talked about during the video. But if you like to carry a lot of camera gear and you're looking for something that's gonna give you great access, that's very durable and useful, and that's gonna have a similar top loading sort of system, then that's gonna be a good option to consider. The next bag this made me think of is the Timbuk2 Spire 2.0, which is another top loading bag. It has an adjustable buckle that you can use to access the main area of the bag. It doesn't open up fully clamshell. It does have a zipper that you know makes the opening a little wider so you can grab whatever you need. It has a well padded laptop compartment, external water bottle pockets, which this one does not have. It's got a pretty comfortable harness system. This bag feels a little more durable overall, but the Spire 2.0 is gonna kind of come in in a slightly lower price range. It's also got a little bit more of kind of a tactical vibe as it has some webbing on the front in addition to some nice kind of quick access, simple compartments. So it's got a simple layout, a lot of space, a lot of weather resistance. And if you're looking for something kind of like this, that's gonna be a little bit more kind of commuter focus if you ride a bike to work or to school or you just wanna save a little bit of money then that's gonna be a good option to consider. And then the last option that I'll mention here if you're looking for a top loading adjustable bag that's got a little bit more of a heritage style vibe is the Rucksack from Nutsack. And all jokes aside from the company name, that is a very ruggedly built bag. I've had mine for a while and you know, it just has a really kind of classic timeless look um, with very rugged materials. It's comfortable, it's got really beefy shoulder straps, um, nice leather buckle that allows you to adjust the flap to easily get into the top loading compartment. It's got a padded and suspended laptop sleeve, external water bottle pocket. So just a really nice, versatile bag. It is very premium priced as it's made in the USA. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive than this one, but if you want something that's very well built, that's gonna you know never go out of style and be with you for many years to come, that's gonna be a solid option to take a look at. With that being said, the Bellroy Venture backpack holds up really well against all those options. And if you're looking for a stylish and durable bag that's gonna give you plenty of flexibility, comfort, and space for all of your essentials, and this is gonna be a great option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Venture 22 liter backpack and how it compares to some of the other popular work and EDC bags that are currently on the market. And if there's any similar options that you think that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I want to thank Huckberry again for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.